Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is day eight of our 21-day water fast for financial breakthrough. I am just blessed to have all of you here with me as we do this corporately, all for the glory of God as he begins to just pour out blessings upon blessings concerning our finances, but also help us to gain wisdom of how to be a better steward of our money through his holy word. So we're going to jump into his holy word. Our first scripture is coming from John chapter 21, verse 6. And it says, and he said unto them, cast the net on the right side of the ship and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. In our second scripture, second Corinthians chapter nine, verse 10, it says, for God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Well, looky there, that is more power packed scriptures. So we see here that they are out fishing. They can't find anything. And then here comes Jesus and he tells them where to cast their net. They obeyed him. And when they did, there was a multitude of fishes. So we too have to obey God. If, if his word is telling us what we need to do in order to gain financial wealth, then that's where we need to start. So before you pick up that financial book in a, a, a Barnes and Noble or somewhere, how about we pick up the good book of God and see what his word has to say concerning finances. Let's run to him before we run to anyone else concerning our money. Let's run to him before that accountant. Okay. And then the second scripture is letting us know that God provides seed for the farmer and also bread to eat. So he's making sure this farmer has crops and he's making sure this farmer has food. So if he's providing for this farmer, he's going to provide for us too. It says in the same way, he will provide for you and increase your resources. So we see it here that by doing so, we're going to be able to be generous when we give. It's all about giving back to our brothers and sisters. It's all about being generous and kind. We know that God reigns on the just and the unjust. So he's not just reigning on the righteous. He's also reigning on the wicked. Okay. That rain is not just following us everywhere we go. It also is going on them too. Those that are even not of God. So I pray that y'all are encouraged this morning to keep going. Please don't give up on God because he's not going to give up on you. We have got to stay focused. We have got to be diligent in our endeavors and make sure that we are including God in all that we do. Because he's a good, good father. That's who he is. And that's what he wants to do. And our final scripture for today, we're going to end it out with a um, prayer. I'm sorry, with a prayer. And let's jump in. Dear God, I pray for a generous heart and a spirit of giving. Please help me to use my financial resources to bless others and to make a positive impact in the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is how we obtain financial peace, y'all. This is how we are no longer the borrower, but the lender. This is how we are able to maintain that generous heart because we now understand the system of God. We now understand how things move, how things work, how God's way of doing things apply in our lives so that we can help others and keep the ball rolling. And then we teach them and then they teach their people and then their people teach. Do you see the way God is? He's intentional. He's wise. He's all knowing. So let us obey just like they did when Jesus told them where to put that net. They obeyed and there the fish were. So I pray this bless you because it definitely blessed me. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye now.